Today I'm going to talk all about Leica and my new Leica camera bag. My artisan and artist edition Leica camera bag. I think it's the best Leica camera bag in the world. Certainly the best one I've ever had. A lot of you who've seen my Thailand video that I just put out, I got a boatload of emails saying, hey, what was that bag that you got for your Leica camera bag in Bangkok? And this is it. This is the Artisan and Artist Edition Leica camera bag. It was made specifically for Leica. It's made in Japan and it is simply a beautiful camera bag. And I will get into that in a second. And I just want to give you a little bit of brief history about me and Leica. I'm not a guy that uh, I know right now on YouTube and online, Leica is kind of like a lightning rod. Either people really love the camera system or they think they're overpriced and not worth it. And uh, But I have to say, I've actually been a Leica user for longer than I'd like to admit. It's uh, almost 30 years. I got my first Leica M6 camera 30 years ago and I've had a Leica M6 and this is still it. I've had it for uh, forever and it's gone all over the world with me. I've put thousands of rolls of film through it and it's still in really, really good shape. You know, it's not banged up. I don't drag my cameras around, but I also don't baby them. I use them all the time. And if you've seen some of my YouTube videos, you'll know, you'll see me working and I will place them in the ground and they're riding in my truck and bouncing around and everything else. And I have done some workshops for Leica and uh, this video, by the way, is not sponsored by Leica or the camera bag. I bought this with my own money, so this is just kind of my own views on the camera bag. I want to take you through it because, like I said, I got so many emails about it. From the M6, I went to uh, the, I tried out the M8 when it first came out, or I had one when it first came out, and I had one of the very first ones when it first came out. I kind of tested it out for Leica a bit. I was super happy when Leica came out with the digital camera because what a lot of people don't know is Leica almost didn't make it. I mean, they were on the brink of, uh, you know, going away because when digital photography came out and took over, you know, they were still making film cameras. So when their M8 came out, that was a big deal. You know, it, it showed Leica was still in the game, still doing it. Then their M9 came out. I got an M9. The M9 was a great camera, CCD camera uh, sensor, but it had a really cool look. You could really uh, work with those files and get a cool look out of those files. Really liked it. Couldn't go very high ISO, of course. All of a sudden you got worked into a lot of noise. And then when the M10 came out, I got an M10 and I have been using my M10 ever since. And actually that's not true. I also have an M240. Uh, I got that before the, sorry, I got that before the M10. I got my M240 and then I got my M10 and I've kept them. I've, uh, I got rid of the M8, I got rid of the M9, but I keep these and I still use these. The M240 has great files. I really like using it. It's kind of a tank, it's thicker. And the whole time that I've had like a, I've only had one issue. And that was when I smashed the back of the screen with another camera against it and I put a big crack in it and I sent it away and Leica fix it. The downside to that is Leica had it for almost four months. I mean, they are way behind on fixing gear. That is one of the issues with Leica right now is kind of getting stuff back in a timely manner. But I love the whole system and I actually really love those special editions that they do. I know it drives people crazy when people say, oh, it's like, you know, $20,000 for this special edition. But for me, it helps keep Leica going and helps keep Leica in the game. And there would be nothing worse that it, than if Leica were to disappear or any camera manufacturer. It's kind of sad when 
camera manufacturer goes away. I think it's good for photography to have all these different manufacturers out and certainly to have Leica around. I have always loved using Leica. It becomes, it kind of frees you up. It frees me up in taking photographs. And a lot of people don't realize too, when you take pictures with Leica, you hold it up to your, uh, to your eye and you're supposed to keep your other eye open, your left eye open, and then it becomes this whole field of view thing and then you can capture what's happening in that field. And I really like that. You know, the system is small, they're light, they're so easy to travel with. I took these two cameras to Thailand along with my Rolleiflex that you guys saw and just working with them, you know, you're not carrying a lot of weight. It's easy to travel, easy to go through airports, uh, easy to walk around, and it's great just to kind of have, it becomes a diary, a diary type of camera, and you create pictures that aren't kind of so constructed, you know, they're a little bit more freer. The lenses are fabulous, of course. I mean, they're like a glass. The, the lenses are really, really good. And yeah, I love the system. I have always loved the system. So when my wife and I, we were in Bangkok, we went to this camera mall. It was great. I'm gonna put the name down below. We went to this uh, mall that had all these great uh, camera stores in them and all kinds of used cameras and all kinds of film cameras and lenses and everything. It was uh, film mecca. I mean, you could go there and spend a lot of time there. I was in this one store and I was buying a lens hood for my Rolleiflex uh, to put on a proper lens hood so that it was tight. And I'd, I'd been looking for a camera bag for a while for my Leica system because you can get some of the, you know, you can get a cheaper bag that isn't as good and quite frankly, just isn't as nice. And my wife spotted this in the window and she said, hey, I know you're looking for a camera bag, what about this one? And so I got the person to bring it down and have a look at it and immediately I was smitten with it. I mean, it is just built so well. You can tell this leather is so soft. The canvas on it is great. You can instantly tell when something is built really well. The other bag that I was looking at was the Hermes Reporter Satchel which was $7,800, so that wasn't gonna cut it. I ended up going with this one. This one was kind of brand new, it was in the window and it cost way too much money. To give you an idea, online right now, I've, I saw one for $399, which is basically kind of what I paid for, the, for this one. I know it's a boatload of money to buy a camera bag to take a couple things, but this really will last my lifetime and um, and I like it. It's just, you know, it, it's, it's really nice. I, I know it's kind of an extravagant buy, but sometimes we just have to have nice things. And when I travel, I kind of like to have nice things with me and stuff like that. But take you through this bag kind of quickly. It is on the strap, like it's got these little details where it's got this little non-stick surface on the strap so it doesn't slide off your shoulder, which so many bags, you know, that's immediately a downfall. You put that strap on your shoulder and it slides down really quickly. You know, these these little strap eyelets that make your strap go tight. These accent, the, the pull tabs for the zipper, you know, great YYK zipper. The pull tabs are red, you know, they're like a red and all the stitching is like a red. The rest of the camera is black. In the front here, it's got a pocket that you can put your wallet in, you can put your cell phone when you're walking around the streets. Inside these dividers, the padding on these dividers are, I've seen them, you know, they're on every kind of camera bag. Every camera manufacturer uses them but these are really soft. I don't know what they made these out of. Out of this, just the material is so much nicer than anything else I've seen. Uh, the other ones that I've seen, you know, by the other bag makers, they tend to be hard and, and really stiff and these are soft and just, these are really, really, you can tell a lot of thought has been put into this. They're just really well made. This 
camera bag can, it can carry a body with a lens on it. It can carry a le uh, another lens in it, or it can carry two lenses in it, and it can carry a flash, or it can carry a another body without a lens. The front pockets here can carry a couple batteries. The other pocket can carry a light meter. And then inside too is a little zipper with a mesh in here so you can see what is in here too. So you could put, could put a couple batteries or whatever else you wanted in there. In the back, I like to keep a little notebook so that when I'm traveling, I can uh, write down notes on where I am and what I'm getting and stuff like that and have a little diary that way. So you can carry that. And of course, it also has a little handle for it. The back here is kind of not canvas, it's more that ballistic nylon type of material on the back. So you know this isn't gonna wear out. And the bottom, of course, is the same thing. And I love the little hint of uh, Leica on here too. Uh, a lot of people will probably take a little piece of tape and uh, tape that up. You know, I looked and looked for a long time and uh, Domke makes some really nice bags that I use as well, or that I have used for, for my Leica stuff, but they're still kind of, again, not as refined the way this is. And yeah, of course it has Velcro for the, for the front that will hold it down and it's, you know, hard to lift up. You would, you would really hear that. The other thing that it, it will carry when I was traveling with the Rolleiflex is it will carry film, or if you're traveling with an M6, it will carry film. With my Hasselblad X1D2, it won't take the body, but it'll take a couple Hasselblad lenses that I could use. So it's just gonna be a great walk around camera bag. And one of the things about camera bags is I don't like to use a backpack. When I'm working out on the streets and taking photographs, a backpack's really hard to get into. You're running into people. I don't like a backpack at all. I like a small little camera bag and it's funny because some of the best photographers I know, we talk about things like this, like the like camera bags and little things that make your life easier and more efficient. Because when your life is easier and more efficient on the road, you end up taking better photos. So yeah, I wanted to take you guys through this. Like I said, a lot of people have reached out to me about what this bag was. So quick little video on the bag since you know when it was hot in thailand when we were there and there were some days it was uh, 35 degrees celsius and i never complained once because i knew i would be coming back to home and like it is today i think it's minus 28 degrees or something and it's supposed to get a lot colder over the next three days i think going down to minus 36 or something here which is just god awful. I wish I was back there. If you haven't seen my Thailand video, there is a link below. You can go and have a look when I was traveling around the country. But I was, uh, uh, I know it's a, you know, it's a frivolous kind of buy. But my wife was, she was like, hey, yeah, like, you know, we're only here once. If you really like it, get it. And so I got it. And then we were done and she was like, hey, can we go shoe shopping now? And I was like, can we go shoe shopping? Wait a second, that was well played. Uh, thanks for watching, as always, I will see you next time, cheers.